Science people, we're back. And we're still talking about sound, but today specifically, we're going to be talking about voices. So remember when we were talking about sound last video and how sound is the vibrations that are created by an object. Those vibrations travel throughout the air or whatever medium as sound waves. The vibrations created by objects travel and when they travel, they're called sound waves. As these sound waves travel, they're reflected by different surfaces until they reach your ears. It seems so long ago. So even as we speak, Vibrations occur. They just happen inside your throat by your vocal cords. So your throat acts as sort of a vibration maker. Let's look at it another way. I have this balloon here. So if I blow it up and then let the air out, you notice the sound? Now what is that noise? That noise is sides of the balloon vibrating against each other as the air is let out. It's sort of like what happens when you're speaking. So let's try it again, but this time we'll do it with a straw. So I'm gonna put the straw inside the opening. I'm gonna blow air into it. Now I'm gonna let the air out. Notice there wasn't any flapping. Let's see that again. When I let the air out, there's no flapping. Why is that? The straw is preventing the sides of the opening of the balloon from vibrating against each other. This is much like our vocal cords. Inside our throat are two flaps of skin that flap against each other as we push air through them as we speak. Let's look at this example. Well, you can cry me a river. Don't be scared. This is not a monster from The Mandalorian. This is a video of someone's vocal cords as they sing. Over you. I know, weird, right? That's what's going on in here. So try this. Place two fingers on your throat, right around here, and hum. Mm -hmm. What do you notice? What I notice is there's a vibration. I can hear it, but I can also feel it. Those are the two flaps of skin vibrating against each other, so I can communicate. Now, when I say communicate, I don't mean just speaking, saying words. We communicate through various ways. It could be through singing, through music. I've got something else for you to try. It's going to require a mirror and you. We're going to put our fingers right near the base of our throat. Go through the alphabet and make the phonetic sounds of each letter. I'll go through the first three with you. Ah. I felt a vibration. How about you? Let's try the next letter. B. B. I felt a vibration again. Now C. K. No vibration. Now you go through the rest. See what patterns you can find with the sounds of each letter. Look in the mirror while you're doing this too. Take a look at your mouth and inside your mouth. What's going on with your tongue and the back of your throat? when you say certain sounds. Do you feel a vibration? Do you not feel a vibration? And with that, go investigate science, people. Let me know what you find. The fate of the world depends on it. No, I'm just, I'm just kidding. It's not that serious. Just, just go have fun. Okay, scientists, thanks for watching. Did you enjoy that lesson? Subscribe below to see more fun science videos. You can also become a member of PS Science on Patreon to support what we're doing. See you next time.